Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and today we're going to be reacting to some beta leaks that recently came out from a mass Nintendo hack. Now there were a lot of leaks in this hack. One of them was confirming Luigi existing in, in Mario 64. There were some other Mario leaks and one of the more notable things that got leaked was a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl beta demo. Now there was a lot that leaked from this intro screens, sprites, character art, uh, different changes for characters and layouts of different locations. But in this video, we're going to be reacting to the leaked sprites and designs for a couple trainers and a lot of Pokemon that were changed later in development. So we're just going to be, I'm going to be talking about these, seeing a lot of these for the first time. And I figured since this is going around the community, I wanted to make a video on this and basically talk about what I think about some of these because the, the few that I've seen on Twitter so far are amazing. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So the first one that we're going to be taking a look at, and I've got them all saved in a folder here, is Obama Snow. And first of all, this is one that I have not seen until now. We got it's all of these. You're going to see their back sprites and their front sprites, and it just looks so weird. I really I prefer the original back sprite that we see in Diamond and Pearl uh, for Obama Snow because it just it's got this massive hump on this design. And while the spikes look pretty cool, it's just something about it feels really off. Now, the one that I really love is the front sprite. It, it, it just looks so more, it's so much more action packed and just so more enthusiastic in this pose. And the design is also slightly different in that it's kind of hunched over a little bit. Uh, the frills on its mouth are very different. And overall, I think I honestly prefer the beta design for Obama Snow to the original design. It's amazing to see all of the different changes that some of these Pokemon went through early on and this is probably one of the best examples is that the base design is pretty much there but there's a couple tweaks that we see eventually in the final product that are very different from this first one. Now we're going to go to the next one here and this is Bronzong. The only real difference, it's a little, the design is slightly altered, the sprite work is a little bit different but the most striking difference here that I can see right off the bat is that Bronzong it has its shiny form. So either this is just a screenshot of the shiny or they originally decided to go for the green for the base form. Cause as you guys know, the original Bronzong is a lot more of a, a bluish green in its final form and green is its shiny. So the little alteration here is striking. I honestly, again, back to the Obama snow, I think I prefer this greener design for its base form instead of the shiny. It just, it pops a little bit more in contrast with the red. And I think that's why I really like it. Next up is Carnivine, and this is just, the front sprite is derpy as hell. They're both derpy as hell, but you can tell that this is a placeholder. It doesn't have any of the shading. It doesn't have any of the, the detailing done. This is very much a basic sketch. It kind of reminds me of a Muppet, like an Oscar the Grouch kind of looking thing. It's just like, you can tell that the inspiration and the design is here. It's just, it's very derpy. It's so cartoony. It's something you would see in like a children's comic book. It's just, you can, you can definitely see uh, the, the front sprite looks very much like Carnivine. The back sprite almost looks, it looks different. It doesn't have those frills at the top of its head. Uh, it almost comes off more as a Venus flytrap than the front. It's, it's, it's very interesting. Monferno, the uh, Chimchar line, uh, Chimchar and Infernape are pretty much the same. A little detailing on the sprites is not done. As you can see, we only have the front sprites here. Monferno is sitting, but it's got its legs out. I don't know. It's weird. I definitely think I prefer the original. Uh, I mean, the, the, the final version. Uh, it's just, it's a little strange. Then, of course, Vespaquin and Combi are insane. This is one of the ones that I actually saw leaked on Twitter. This design's insane, man. I prefer the final version of Combi we got. This original Combi design in the beta looks derpy to all hell, but the Vespaquin looks badass. It's got this purple going with it. It looks a lot uh, meaner and a lot more serious. This is so interesting. It's just, I would love to know the thought process that went behind what these designs originally were and then what they eventually became. It's absolutely fascinating. Cranidos looks sick as hell. 
Uh, the back sprite, I prefer the final version. The front sprite, again, a lot of these just look a lot edgier, I think is probably the word to describe them. Cranidos is awesome looking. It, it, the detailing is a lot cooler. He doesn't seem to have arms. The arms are very, very blurry. You can't really tell what they are. Uh, it's just, it's very interesting to see, again, and this is going to be reiterated throughout this video, how they get from point A to point B is absolutely fascinating. Now, you'd see, uh, you'd probably see Cranidos next, or uh, Rampardos next, excuse me, but this is kind of based on names, so we're going to be jumping around a little bit, but this is a totally different Garchomp line. It's, it looks a lot more like a land shark. Uh, I really... I love these beta designs. I love Garchomp. I love the original Garchomp, the final version that we got. I think the blue coloring looks great. His design is, is classic. It's fantastic. But if they ever wanted to recycle this design, I would not be against that in the slightest. I think these look awesome. Now, the first form looks like a Digimon. It really, like, I know with some of the detailed designs in Pokemon, sometimes people like to think it looks like Digimon. That first form, that Gibble, really looks like a Digimon. I believe there's a Digimon I've seen in the past that looks almost identical to that. But these designs are so cool. They're so awesome looking. I really... Maybe we get like a uh, original variant of Garchomp in the future, but these designs are awesome. I absolutely love them and I, I really hope they go back to them sometime moving forward in a future generation. This one is also one that I saw. Hippopotas is so cute. Wait, is that Hippopotas? Yeah, it's Hippopotas. It's so cute. These, this whole evolution line is badass. Hippowdon looks amazing. Hippopotas looks so derpy. I would love to have one in real life. It's not very detailed, but it just looks so cool. Hippowdon, again, if they ever decided to take this beta and turn it into a regional variant for Hippowdon's uh, original form, that'd be awesome. This design's cool. I love Hippowdon already as a Pokemon. It's just the, the purple is so cool. It's so neat to see. You can tell it's in pretty much the same pose that the final design is in, in sprite form. It's just awesome. This is just a back sprite for Leafeon. Pretty much got the, the, the final design down. It just needs some shading, just needs some little, um, some touch, some touch ups on the edges. Uh, but it's pretty much the same thing that we, we already got with Leafeon. It's nothing really too special. Licky Licky, the final sprite, the uh, the forward-facing sprite, is almost identical to the one we get. But the back sprite, you can tell that there was a major revision done. It's got spikes. It's got a different pattern on its back. It's totally different from the Licky Licky that we eventually get in the game. And I don't like it. It rubs me the wrong way. It freaks me out a little bit. So I'm, I'm glad we got the derpy Licky Licky that we ended up with. Lumineon is gorgeous. Again, regional variant style, if they would ever take this design and repurpose it. It's gorgeous. Lumineon is one of the most forgotten Pokemon in the entire franchise, and this design is beautiful looking. You could tell, uh, Game Boy Luke did a video on this a couple days ago, and he said you could tell this thing would become a fairy type. I agree with that. It's just, it's an absolutely gorgeous design, and I prefer it to the, the final Lumineon that we got, because the final Lumineon is, is honestly nothing special. Magmortar, design's pretty much final, just some shading needed, very simple, it looks like this is what they put in before animation, and before they came up with the final design, it's just a rough sketch, uh, there's nothing really too different about it, it's got a freaky looking smirk, I will say that. Miss Magius is a little different on the back sprite, some of the, uh, the, the shading and different coloration on the tips of its cap are not there. Uh, but the design is still there. For a lot of these, the base design still exists, and it's it's definitely the same with Miss Magius. In Polion's line, Piplup, the first uh, the first and the third evolutions are the the Piplup and the Empoleon are the same. It, there's nothing special. Maybe it's a little hunched over more for Piplup, but Prinplup looks a lot similar to Empoleon. You, it's getting that that crown uh, that crown beak that comes out. Uh, it's just it's very much. It's a lot closer to what Empoleon is, and I think it actually makes a little more sense when you look at it like this. I still prefer Prinplup, the final one that we get, but this isn't bad design at all. It's really cool looking. Probopass. <laughs> this one got leaked. I saw this one on Twitter. It's so derpy. This is like the Ryan of Pokemon. Uh, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 such a simple design. I it, I hope it's a placeholder and this wasn't like a final in their head at one point because it looks so dumb. Rampardos, we finally get to. 
badass. Complete different coloration, a lot more browns and grays. I prefer the Beta Rampardos. It's it's amazing. You have on the front, on the back sprite, uh, excuse me, you have the spikes along its neck are different. There's different uh, variations of them, whereas on the, the final beta front sprite that we see, they're all pretty much similar. I think this looks awesome. I would on it, I wish they kept the disc, the disfigured horns on the, um, the back sprite for Ampardos on the front. I think this looks amazing. I wish they had kept this. Shinx is pretty much the same, but he's got a little horn. <laughs> he's got a little horn going. Togekiss looks like a Megalatios clone, like a, like a beta version of Megalatios and Togekiss if they had a baby. It looks amazing. It looks absolutely stunning. It's very aerodynamic. It's very sleek. I think I prefer the more soft and cuddly kind of Togekiss we eventually got, but this is amazing. This is a super cool design. Next up, uh, there's mass changes for Torterra. Turtwig's the same. Grottle is ugly as hell. Torterra is ugly and you gotta think this was a very early design uh it's they're cool there's they're just they just look so derpy you can tell turtwig is finalized the other two seem uh, very rough around the edges wormadam just a different coloring it's nothing special we're gonna move on from this one pretty quickly wormadam's a very forgetful pokemon this one <laughs> yon mega is badass another example of me wishing they kept the final, uh, the beta yen mega form for the final. Uh, it doesn't really totally match up with Yanma. That might be why they changed it. Yan mega looks a lot more similar to Yanma than this does, but this just looks menacing. I absolutely love it. It's so cool. And that is all of the normal Pokemon. There are some legendaries that we're also going to take a look at here. I'm going to start with, uh, we're going to go along this line here. I want to start with the god himself. Arceus, Arceus, however you pronounce it, is amazing looking. It's so ominous, it's so mysterious, it's almost like it's clouded. It reminds me of Mimikyu in some sort of way that it, you kind of feel like its true form is hidden behind this, this guise, this disguise almost. I've seen some awesome fan art for Arceus, uh, this Arceus beta, and I think this is amazing. It's a little derpy. A lot of these designs are very derpy, but I think it's amazing. It, it, it's just... it. Almost in a way, it's kind of cooler than the final Arceus form that we got. I absolutely love it. As Elf, the back sprite's very different, but the front sprite looks like it's almost final. You can tell it's got this... It's got a different kind of head... Um, head ornament going for it, and the, 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 the waves coming off of it are very different as well. Uh, it's interesting. You can... I wonder... I would love to see what the back... the front sprite for this back sprite version of As Elf looks like. Uh, but we don't see that here. Darkrai. Uh, it's Terra. This is such a dumb looking Pokemon. Uh, one, there's no shading or anything done. So the design wasn't... This design wasn't even final. But the, the Darkrai, the final Darkrai that we get is almost a perfect Pokemon. This is, this is so ugly. <laughs> uh, this is what people think is Garatina. Uh... It looks like it's a beta Landorus, like a Landorus Therian form, I believe it is. Uh, it looks nothing like Garatina, absolutely nothing. Uh, it looks like a Gen 5 Pokemon in a lot of ways, and maybe they took some inspiration for the um, for the three genies based on this guy, because he just looks strange. Mesprit, again, the front sprite looks pretty much final. The back sprite is a little different. I want to see what that front sprite for the back sprite looks like, but we can't we can't see that here. Rage Gigas who's on the thumbnail. The design's pretty much final. It doesn't have some of the mossy growths on it that we see in the, um, in the final design, though. Uh, it's just, again, it's a, it's a, it's a drawn-out one. It's basically a placeholder. And you can... It looks stupid. Like, it looks like it's suffering some, from some kind of issues. Um, but it's such a cool-looking Pokemon that it's like... It is what it is. It's, it's badass. Rotom had the most radical change of any Pokemon we've seen, maybe besides Garchomp. It's a little, it's like a Pulse Man. Uh, Game Freak did a game before Pokemon called Pulse Man, and I feel like this is straight out of Pulse Man. Um, I would not be against them repurposing this design in the future because it's, it's really cool. Shaman uh, is pretty much final. Uh, it's, it's, it's still just a basic uh, sketch, uh, just basic pixel work. 
No real uh, shading or anything extra added on. Shaman's pretty much fine, and we don't have a back sprite for this one. And then finally, Yuxi. Again, the back is a little different, but the front sprite is pretty much the final. Now, the last thing we're going to look at in this video are the trainers. Now, there's a little bit of differences. The first thing that I want to highlight is this gym badge. Where's Crash Your Wake? Crash Your Wake looks like Bugman. <laughs> the, all the sprites are a little bit different. The pixel art, I mean. Uh, and Maylene is in a different spot. But what is with Crash Your Wake? Crash Your Wake just doesn't exist in here. He's totally different. Also, uh, the first gym leader, uh, Rourke. Rourke? I think it's Rourke. Yeah, it's Rourke. Um, he looks a lot younger. I don't know. It's very strange. Uh, Ace Trainer went through a pretty massive revision. Change of hair color, change of, of clothing. Pokeball is still in the same hand, uh, just in a different pose. Then we have Dawn has a slightly different sprite. It's nothing really to write home about. They changed the color of the Pokeball on her hat. And then Lucas is a little different as well. Uh, the hat is in a different placement. The head is turned a little differently. Uh, they swapped which arm is up and which arm is down. Uh, he's in a different stance. And the Pokeball is red instead of blue. So again, just a very different, a little bit different. It's interesting to see some of these changes that they made. Those are the most notable ones that I wanted to highlight in this video. And since we're going about 15 minutes here, I'm going to I'm gonna end it here. But if you want to see a, a lot more of the detailed beta leaks, I'm not going to link it because I don't I, I feel like Game Freak's going to be weird with this or Nintendo as a whole, uh, but it'll be on my Twitter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, definitely go hit the link in the description or the one on my channel page at LinkyYT is my Twitter. Uh, I've retweeted a ton of these. We're going to have a lot of fun talking about this. Hopefully we get more beta leaks in the future. About two years ago, we got some Gen 2 leaks. I didn't cover those because I wasn't doing YouTube at the time, but those were also absolutely fascinating. So if you go back and look for those, if you haven't seen them, I'd highly recommend that as well. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed reacting to some of these beta designs with me. If you did and you want to see more videos like this in the future where we go over some old Nintendo stuff, definitely let me know down in the comments section below. Uh, and there's going to be more videos coming out next week. I'm really excited. They got a lot of them done already. We're going to do another Pokemon video. There might be some Minecraft Sky Wars coming. It's going to be a fun week. Hope you all enjoyed. I have been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.